The Lord Ruler is an enigma of a man. Near the beginning of my channel, I made a video in defense of the Lord Ruler. Was he as much of an evil man as people assume? Or was he more of a ruthless utilitarian caught between a series of difficult choices and power he could barely comprehend, let alone use effectively? While I won't rehash that discussion here, I did feel it was prudent for us to examine the man behind the title. It's worth recapping and looking at what we know about this man who once ruled the planet and had an entire religion dedicated to him. Who was the Lord Ruler? What do we know about him and his history? It should go without saying that there will be spoilers for the first Mistborn trilogy in this video, at least concerning the Lord Ruler, his past and his identity. Before we jump in though, please consider giving this video a like since it's the main way YouTube knows to promote the video. If you'd like to see more Cosmia Lore videos, definitely let me know by liking and commenting down below. And if you're interested in more, then consider subscribing since there's definitely more to come. Also, just a quick shout out to the curators of the Coppermind, the Cosmia Wiki. Without the awesome people over there, videos like this definitely wouldn't exist on the channel. I highly recommend you guys check them out since all the information in these videos comes from the great work they're doing over there. Rashek is a terraceman from Skadrail. Known as the Lord Ruler, the Sliver of Infinity and the Father, he has access to the full range of abilities of both a ferrochemist and an Elemancer, and has hemolurgic spikes in his body. As a result, he is an extremely powerful compounder, and he was able to unify much of the world into an empire that lasted for a thousand years. This empire, of course, became known as the Final Empire. Prior to his ascension, he disliked the people of a kingdom known as Clenium and was hostile and angry towards them, despite never having been to the state, because of their oppression of the terrorist people. Though he hated them, he also envied several aspects of their culture, later incorporating them into the culture of the final empire. Rashek was born with the powers of a full ferrochemist. During the first ascension, he rebuilt himself to be an extremely powerful mistborn. In addition to this, he has hemologic spikes charged with unknown attributes. With a combination of all three metallic arts, he is able to compound all 16 metals and pull off his most impressive abilities. Rashek has used these metals enough to become nearly a savant, if not a full savant, in every area. By compounding steel, tin and pewter, he possesses unparalleled speed, strength and enhanced senses. He can influence the emotions of over 10,000 people with zinc and brass. With his compounded copper, he has flawless memory. His power allows him to easily pierce copper clouds and push and pull on metal in human bodies. He could increase the power of his iron pulling and steel pushing by increasing his weight with his iron mines. By compounding ferrochemical gold and ferrochemical atium, he effectively made himself immortal. However, as he aged, he required more and more stored youth to keep himself alive and he would have eventually had to resort to other means to retain his immortality. Using the Well of Ascension also made Rashek a sliver of preservation. Towards the end of his life, he grew extremely weary of the world and appeared resigned in almost every interaction he had with others, likely due to his immense age rendering every experience trivial and taxing. Rashek treated those who stood against him with disdain and was unconcerned when a rebellion was approaching his palace. Instead, finding it annoying that he would have to go to the trouble of killing hundreds of Scar personally. In his younger years, Rashek was part of a growing number of young terrorists who had more violent attributes than what was seen as typical of their people. They believed that their ferrochemy would have been put to greater use than it was as a tool for simple labor. Alendi, a man who was then prophesied to be the hero of ages by the terrorist shamans, believed Rashek and his fellows to be dangerous if given the opportunity to act on their impulses. Rashek believed that Alendi, a man from the kingdom of Clenium, was not the true hero of ages and was resentful of him. He thought that an outsider, someone not pure terrorist as well as an oppressor of terrorists, could not be the hero and that Alendi had tricked the terrorist philosophers. He led Alendi to the Well of Ascension and killed him under the instructions from his uncle Quan. He then took and used the power of preservation at the Well of Ascension, ascending to become the Lord Ruler. 
Ezra Shaikh was using the power of the well, he changed many aspects of life on Scadriel in order to save the world from destruction. Many of his changes, however, created even more problems that needed to be addressed. He moved the planet closer to its sun in an attempt to burn the mists away. The new orbit was too close to the sun, so he created active volcanoes to produce large amounts of ash and smoke to block out the sun and cool down the world. The climate of ceaseless ash falls required some mechanism to break down the ash so that the world did not suffocate under it. So Rashek altered the plant life to be able to survive the ash and created microbes to break it down. However, that was still not enough to save humanity. Rashek also altered the physiology of humans on Scadrill to be able to survive the ash fall. Further alterations to the world and humanity were made to secure his rule over the world. The original terrace mountains were flattened and new mountains were raised in the north in an area which he renamed Terrace in order to hide the location of the Well of Ascension. While he had adapted humanity to the ash, he made some other changes, creating the nobility and the scar of the final empire with slight alterations to their physiology. The nobility he made taller, stronger and more intelligent, but less fertile. The scar he made more fertile, shorter and hardier. He offered his friends a choice to make on behalf of all living ferrochemists to transform them into miswraiths. His close friends he further transformed into Khandra to allow them to retain their minds and their memories. In this process, he failed to account for ferrochemy genes still dominant in the terrorist population, an oversight which allowed more ferrochemists to be born into following generations. Though he had already created the Khandra in his terrorist friends, he gained much knowledge of the three metallic arts in the brief moments he held the power of the well. With his knowledge of hemology, he was able to create Coloss and Inquisitors. Despite all the knowledge gained from his holding the power of the well, in a thousand years he was unable to create more than the three hemologic constructs which he had already created. Finally, he rebuilt himself to be a Mistborn, rather than ingesting one of the beads of Larassium at the Well of Ascension. With the loss of his power, Rashek created a replica of his old hut within Credic Shore over the well itself as a place to retreat for himself. He formed the final empire, partly as a means of revenge against the people he viewed as encroaching on Terra's land and conquered the whole world. He was obsessed with order and he subjugated all but eight foreign kings whom he made mistborn and allowed to rule over the masses. In his early reign, he erased all knowledge of the religion of Terra's. He also destroyed technologies that he considered dangerous, like gunpowder. Rashek formed the Steel Ministry, a religion that worshipped him as a god and banned all other religions. The followers of the religions who did not voluntarily dissolve were hunted down and destroyed, the last of which were destroyed about 500 years after Rashek's ascension. As a result of the revelations from the Well of Ascension, Rashek gained a profound understanding of the mists or deepness as well as Scadrill's shards, ruin and preservation. This led him to have storage caches constructed throughout the final empire, five in total, each containing a large supply of food and basic necessities, as well as information about Alamancy and the weakness of his hemologic constructs. The text was inscribed on metal plaques to prevent their alteration by ruin. It is from these storage sites that Vin and Ellen learn about Electrum and Malatium, although they had already discovered and utilized aluminium and duralumin. Only a few years before the Well of Ascension was due to refill, Vin killed him using the power of the mists after his own powerful steel push ripped her hemologic earring free, allowing her to access preservation's power and use her newfound strength to remove his ATM braces. His death led to the collapse and the end of the Scar Rebellion. A sliver of preservation due to his time holding the power of the well Rashek did not immediately pass on to the beyond after his death. Once his spirit manifested in the cognitive realm, he went to the location of the well. Rashek was annoyed that he had been killed before he had been able to collect the power of the well a second time. Rashek then touched the power emanating from the well, examining it before departing for the beyond. Thank you very much for watching. I sincerely appreciate all your time and attention. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like since that's one of the biggest metrics that YouTube looks at when recommending it. And if you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified of future videos. Take care and we'll talk again very soon.